Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to Hunger Speed Shop on this nice 31 degree day in Western Oklahoma. So today we're gonna continue on with our quarter panel install and we're gonna do a the mini tub install for the passenger side. So we're gonna get on to that. Pretty much got the quarter panel ready to go on on the, on the driver's side, but we still need to do the passenger side. So I'm gonna start with the Detroit mini tub piece on the inside. So basically I'm gonna do it the way the instructions say if you have a, uh, a quarter panel in, in place. So we're gonna do it that way and we'll go from there. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is like you slick the seat. Loud noise. Like you see here, I'm gonna remove this brace right here for our, the for the package tray. So, so that's gonna be the first one. So what we're doing is we're gonna be putting that over here now. So we gotta do some trimming and cutting and removing over here to make it work. So we're gonna get started with that. All right, so first things first, we're gonna clean up the areas where the spot welds are at so we can remove these pieces. So there's about five of them down here and we've got to find them up here. It's gonna be like in this area here, just like they were here, and then a couple right here. So we get the grinder out for the wire wheel here and clean it up the paint so I can see where I'm working. Now I can see them better to be able to get in there with a spot weld cutter. So let me grab my spot weld cutter and we'll start on that. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is stop dropping things. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna center punch all the places where there's holes so I can get the get a good start on the um, for the spot weld cutter. Well, it really hurts when you when your hands are cold and you're hitting things hard like that. All right, time to get the spot. Right, so one of the things I've found got two different types of spot weld cutters. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm getting a good shot here. Got these double-ended ones you can use, and they're like almost like a hole saw style blade. And they work, but they do break very easily. The ones I really like are the ones like this. They're almost like an end mill style, like from, you know, using on a bridge port. So those ones work really well, and that's the one I'm gonna be using. I just bought a few on Air Amazon. I got five for 36 bucks, I think. And for that price, they're definitely worth it. Got this one from Harbor Freight. They're like $3.99 or $4.99 a piece. So basically for five of them, I got the same amount for the same price. So, but I think these are definitely a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Basically when you do it, you just want to go until it, you see it pop. And that's already off of there, so that was real quick. start to see the rust between the metal come out, that's when you want to stop. That easy. Get a better angle on these ones because I'm right handed. So I've gone through a couple of spot welds. You can see how they're coming through here. One little place in here was covered, but it came out just some, you know, do some good old uh, metal. What's it called? It's cold. I can't think of what I'm trying to say here. Um, metal fatigue. 
and just let it pull out. I'll do some repair on this to get it back to normal. Next thing is, see if you can see this. This needs to be cut across here, like we did over here. We got a floor piece. So let's go ahead and get that. Right, so the next portion is going to be cutting this off right here. And so it's going to be clean like that. And it's to put in a piece like this. It comes with the kit. So that's going to replace that piece. So let's go ahead and mark that and get ready to cut it. All right, as you can see, hopefully it focuses. I drew a line straight across to that. And there's a couple spot wells behind there that I gotta take off, but, so that'll clear that out and that'll be the next thing. All right, as you can see, I got that piece cut out now. So it's all set, ready to go to get in here and start taking this, this inner fender wheel out. And, oh, one more thing we gotta do is remove that. I gotta remove that shock or the uh, the hinge support for the trunk lid. But the reason why I did it like this because it's a lot easier to see where we're gonna be cutting. You see the line back there I already made and I'll show you that here in a minute. But that's pretty much makes it a lot easier to get to where we need to cut. Okay so we're gonna set the template for the new uh, inner fender for the tub, mini tub. You can see I've already got it marked, but I'm going to show you how it worked out. So basically what you do is you start out with this foot down. A little flap foot down like that. You come in in here, you line it up on the wheel well. To your edge there. You can see it doesn't really line up there, but you go off of the edge here. So you go off this edge here. That stupid flap. And that gets you your marks. So as you can see, I marked it there. Okay, so once you have your mark there, then you're gonna wanna move this out, leave that back line there. Bring out your flap, because you're gonna leave that when you cut this. You move this out to the edge of your first line here, now you can draw in your arch for the new tubs. So that's what that's gonna be. So this is your first line, you move it out and over, and that creates your inner tub line. So that's where you're gonna go. Now you need to draw a line straight down that way, at two and three quarters width from the, well, from the inner fender well all the way to the front. So let's do that now. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this. See what I did is I went and took one of these squares and I drilled a hole at two and three quarters. If you can see that. So two and three quarters right there. I'm gonna use that to scrap the line. I don't have a, a divider is what they call it. So I'm just gonna use that. And run along the line here. see I scrubbed a line at two and three quarters and I'll color it in with the marker so it's easier to see now all you do is mark the front and I'll show you that how right, to as do you it. can see I got the whole line marked all the way forward it that's two and three quarters from the well out to that line and all the way down to the front now the front here is going to be a little bit different and I'll get to that here in a second so I'm going to go ahead and lay that out and I'll explain it when I get it laid out Okay, so I'll go ahead and mark the front now too. And the reason why it looks like this is because you want to do, you want to make some flaps that are going to attach to the new inner fender or the inner wheel well for the tubs. So this little space right here is three quarters of an inch. From the wheel well out to here is a two and three quarter, which is the way, the whole way back. But from here down and from here up, so from here up and from here over, that's going to be a fold line rather than a cut line. And this area right here, which is two inches from the fender or the uh, pan or the well, the wheel well, the tub, is actually two inches. So when you cut this, you're going to cut it along that line. So this inside line or 
as far as the car goes, the outside line. So what's on the inside of this is what you want to cut. At the two inch mark is where you want to cut and three quarters of an inch from the edge of the wheel well here up is the actual cut line. And that cuts all the way up. You're going to cut that all the way up to this seam right here. And when you get done with that, then that's going to fold down. So this flap and this flap will fold under and that'll be a place where you spot weld the new uh, tub into. So those are the lines we make. Those are what we got to cut. So that whole way back there, all the way around the corner there is where we're going to be cutting for the new mini tub. All right, so I got that hinge support off now. Um, when you do this, it's not a bad idea to brace it so that way it's not flopping around in here so much, but it's pretty sturdy in there. But at least give you an idea where it's supposed to be when you're going back to doing it. Um, so yeah, don't do what I did and just cut it out. You should definitely brace it somehow. But yeah, so that's done now. So now we can start doing the cutouts for the uh, actual tubs. All right, welcome to another chilly morning in Western Oklahoma. So today we're going to get this cut out. So we're gonna get the wheel well cut out. First thing I gotta do is clean up all the seam sealer that's all around this thing to make it easier to get to and cut. So that's gonna be the next thing. And when I get that cleaned up, I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I haven't cut out the that piece yet. I gotta rescribe, make sure it's exactly where it's supposed to be. But I've gone along just because I wanna save this quarter panel or this inner fender. I went along and cut out all the, if you can see I cut out all the spot welds. So that'll be a come out on its own. This area down here is kind of a pain in the butt. There's a lot of them there. I couldn't get that corner right there, so I'll be figuring out something else to do. I'll probably cut that out. But other than that, the inner fenders, or the inner quarter, your inner well is ready to come out. I think I'm going to do is go around there and get the spot welds out on that as well. So that way it comes out in more than one piece. And then I'll go ahead and cut that out. It's a little different than what they call for in uh, Detroit Speed. They tell you to cut. Let me get the little set up here. They want you to cut along the edge here. So to cut that out and then cut that out where it's at there and it'll, uh, the whole thing will drop out. But I don't want to cut it like that because I want to, I'll have to go back in there and pull those spot welds out anyways, but I want to hold the fender or keep the, court, the inner fender, the inner wheel well in one piece. I can't talk today. So that's where we're at with that. So like I said, I'm gonna try to go in there and pull those spot welds out. I can go ahead and cut that piece out too, but I wanna make sure it's you know closer to, to what it's supposed to be. I know those white lines, I just did that so it's easier to see. But I gotta make sure it's legit two inches or two and three quarter inches before I start cutting. All right, as you can see, I've got that piece cut out now. You see what I'm talking about? Leaving those flaps there so now I can bend them down as a mounting point for the new uh, inner tub and I started to do some cutting back there and I'll get to that when I do it. Let me go back to the back here so you can see better. So for this there's a template that goes underneath on the frame and that'll tie this all together and then you plate that system, that whole thing right there. That'll plate up your, your frame as well. So that's that part. And what I cut out of there it is right here. So you can see where I cut all the spot welds up the end of the inner tub. And there's the old shock mount. And since I'm doing the Ride Tech four link, won't be needing it anymore. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I get that tub out. I got a few of these spot welds cut on it. And I'm really debating on whether or not to do the rest. Because it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it is coming along. I might just end up cutting it, but I may not. I don't know yet. So that's where I'm at right there. And you'll know when I get to that point. Okay, so that wheel well is out now. You see, I ended up just going in and cutting it because all the spot welds, between the spot welds that are there and the spot welds that are behind it, they're still holding it in there. Yeah, I decided it's just best to cut it the way they said to do it. So I'll be cleaning all this stuff up. I'll still be going in there and getting rid of all this and grinding it off or 
cutting it off, making it a little bit nicer. And I am replacing the outer wells as well too. So, yep. So that's where I'm at right now. Got the tub out. Nice big hole back here. There's the old tub. So yeah, my lack of patience got the best of me today. So nice I go in and modify the frame and we can fit the new, fit the new one in there. All right, another cold and or another cold day here in Western Oklahoma. So we're gonna go over the last little bit of this install, which is basically modifying the frame. So let's get to that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So basically we have to get in here and you gotta trim this piece out. And then there's a couple of plates that need to go on there. You can see up in here where it's already cut out on that side. So we have that. We got some pieces back here to trim before we can put the new tub in. Let's go ahead and get working. Okay, on. so this is our frame template right here. As you can see, it actually goes upside down this side because it's reversed from the other side. So this is what we're gonna be cutting, the, the shape we're gonna be cutting out of the frame up here. And the way you do that, you take your measurement, you take from this point right here on your shock or your uh, bushing mount for your rear leaf spring, you take a measurement from there forward, to 14 and a quarter inches. Okay. You can, can you see that? Yeah, 14 and a quarter inches. And then you take your template, and you put it underneath there to make that shape right there. So this template goes up into here. It goes to that 14 and a quarter mark right there. And then you map out your the shape of yeah so that'll be that shape there that uh, should be like that upside down so you map that out you see where your mark is at 14 and a quarter put that template on there and dry out your shape and that's where you got to cut your frame out and then the filler pieces that go in for that and i'll show you those after i get this cut out all right so that portion's done you see i've got it cut out there now and uh, Nice, perfect area. Just gotta clean up the, the metal now. And then there's a, a plate, two different plates that go on here. One that fills this area, and one that will fill up this area here. So, so, yep. And I'll get those out and I'll show you those. All right, so these are the two plates we have. Got this one for the front that'll fill that area. this piece right here I'll go back here and you have to put a little bend into it and that'll fill that area back there I don't know why I put an angle on that but whatever definitely got to cut it to shape or cut it to length and then that'll go in there so those, are those two pieces so probably next time you see this those will be welded in all right so the filler piece that goes on the passenger side is a little different than the, the driver's side this was the actual driver's side template you see the difference in shape this is a passenger side one so as you can see i modified it a little bit to make it fit better this is what the original one would have been so now you use this template to make markings for doing spot weld holes on your plate and i'll show you how to do that here in a second. all right so to use this template you put it on here basically this just gives you some areas to spot weld on the inside so you just come in here just kind of rub it around and mark it like this that way you know where to drill some holes it gives you that inside frame area there isn't much of it there so it's just that one area right down through here like this area right here it gives you a little bit of a wrinkle area there to tell you where Put some holes at for some spot welds all right so i went ahead and transferred the holes or you know lined up the, the template on it and put some holes in it so that way you can go in here and you can see 
Now there's areas there now to put the spot welds in. So you do that, weld around the edges, and that'll be good to go. You can see I already got this one tacked in. So I gotta clean up the welds a little bit, but you know, this welder just, I gotta, this welder here, it's a Lincoln Weld Pack 100. It works, but it doesn't make the best welds. I'm definitely looking to get a new welder at some point. I'm definitely looking at the Millermatic one, the MIG TIG. And hopefully we'll be able to get one of those pretty soon. But for now this works. I just gotta I do more grinding than I do welding, I guess, to clean up the welds. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that piece. So that'll be going on next. And I'll be able to, after that we'll be able to uh, put the tub in. All right. Okay, so now that we have our plates welded in here and here, I still gotta finish welding it, but I just wanted to smooth it out, get this video out for y'all. So you put your tub up in there. Now you wanna go on the inside. And you just wanna mark around the bottom here. Basically all around here. This, is, uh, this doesn't really, it's gonna, but you want this side here. I'll show you why. So you just go around it and you mark it. All the way around. So that way you have a, an idea of where you want to put the holes for the spot welding. So I'll pull that back off of there and I'll show you those marks. All right, so now you can see why I made the marks. Just gonna give you an idea of where to make your marks or to drill your holes. So you just basically wanna go about a half inch below this line. So about down to here and just however many spot welds you wanna do. Just go along that area and drill a bunch of holes so you can spot weld this in. So that's pretty much it for Doing this mini tub, and once we get the tub in there, we have to reattach the uh, the hinge support in the back, and we have to modify that, which I sh showed in a different video. And then that seat or the uh, tra package tray brace too. That's got to be made too. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get these holes drilled and get it ready to go in. But I'm not gonna put it in yet because I still have to do. The quarter panels and the inner, the outer fed, the outer wheel wells on this car, this side. So that'll be a different video if I go that way. If I so let me know if you want to see that too. Because I've already got this side ready to go almost. And I just want to show a more in-depth installation of the mini tub on that side with everything still in place, the quarter panel and the outer uh, wheel well. So, hope that helped everybody out, and I'm going to go ahead and close this video out here. All right, well, that concludes this video on installing the Detroit Speed Mini Tub Kit for 67 to 69 Camaro Firebird. And basically, I just wanted to show a video of a little more in-depth with the, all the parts still on it, whereas on the driver's side, I did it with the quarter panel and outer wheel well off. So this gives you an idea of what it's like to actually do it with the quarter panel still on there. And I hope it can help somebody out. You know, I try to do it as in-depth as I could. So let me know how I can improve it next time. Go ahead and leave a comment down there. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I, you know, I appreciate all you watching. So until next time, this is Ogres.